She's, she's just basically dragged that cow up the tree to get it away from the hyena, and now she's in a situation where she's not quite balanced properly, and uh, that that kills very, very precarious. It's Scotia. Looks like the young female that grew up around our lodge. Uh, often it's harder to find because they blend in so well with the environment, but they're fairly relaxed when we do find them. It wants to hang it in the tree there so it's out the way of the hyena. But, uh, she possibly wants to go to a different tree <laughs> because that one hasn't got really any nice branches to, to feed in on from. This tree would be better. Yeah. That tree would be the best over there. She can get it, it and for a second, that, hyena's in that, that hyena's in there, definitely, yeah. <laughs> I don't see the hyena. <laughs> yeah, she's going to try Good this eye, tree, I think. Good eye. Licking the skin now, she's trying to loosen the fur. Uh, she'll start plucking the fur out so she can get into the skin, start eating the meat. Still looking for a slightly better place to put it. The hyena will wait, there's going to be bits that fall, whatever happens. she wants to be. <laughs> That's not a good place to go. That's terrible rather than to lessen competition here. You often find that, that hyenas will, will just follow lepers at a distance in the hope that they don't manage to get their kill up the tree in time. If it's on the ground, yes.
a good spot to be eating in. There we go, she's worked that out. Once she gets it in the right spot, that's probably the right spot now, um, then it'll be fine. So then the advantage of spending all this effort putting it up in the tree is that she gets it in the exactly. She's just resting now. She's got it in the right spot. Yeah, somewhere, somewhere there you should be able to cross. Oh no, no. <laughs> but it might do. <laughs> Make your way here, Andrew. I'm going to be leaving down here now. <laughs> <laughs>